your potato and onion in and turn the gas down really low because in all honesty you don't want to make this brown you want to try and keep it um, a nice white colour but at the same time you want to try and cook all the potatoes the onion is there also to flavour it and the best way to cook these potatoes is steeped in oil obviously pour off some of the oil in a minute when you've finished softening the potatoes but to begin with all you want to do is basically soften the potatoes and also get the flavour of the onion in as well um, keep it on a low heat it takes a bit of time but patience is a virtue so they say just basically cook them until they're soft the secret to this dish is cutting these potatoes as fine as possible um, not too fine but you know, quite thin because A that helps them cook quicker and B it helps them spread out inside the actual tortilla, tortilla um, when you cook it so the next step I want to drain all this oil off because you don't need all this oil in here so basically get rid of any excess oil um, as much as you can obviously without tipping all the potatoes out There you have it. Taking the oil out. Don't worry if you've coloured the potatoes a little bit, it doesn't matter, it will add to the flavour. Next thing we're going to do is take our egg mix, give it a little stir, and that all goes in there like that. And again, you know, this isn't a fast dish. You can't turn the heat up and uh, cook it quickly. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. It's a very slow dish to prepare. Uh, take your time. Sometimes you can actually put it in the oven if you want to, on a slow oven, help it cook a bit faster. I'm gonna turn the heat up just a little bit now, just to get it going. And once it starts to set, I uh, will turn the heat down again because it's quite thick and you want to try and cook it all the way through without burning it, so to speak. So very traditional dish, uh, Spanish tortilla, commonly served with uh, pan con tomate, which is uh, tomatoes, fresh tomatoes um, on bread, fresh bread, just rubbing the fresh tomato on the bread with olive oil and it's part of a part of, a part of tapas basically, um, you can serve this as a tapa, a lot of Spanish bars you go into they'll uh, give you a beer and some tortilla and it's very traditional and what a lovely little snack as well and the beautiful thing about it is you can have it hot or cold. So once it's made, you know, if you have any left over after people have tucked into it, just put it in the fridge and eat it when you like. So as you can see, that's starting to take now. It's starting to cook. You really don't want to make it brown. You want to keep it as white as possible at the same time as cooking it cooking it slowly and also make sure all the egg goes in between all the potato as much as you possibly can basically so that's coming along nicely 
as you can see that is starting to set now the egg is starting to cook and I'm going to turn the heat right down low because the last thing I want to do is burn the egg and you want it to cook slowly and just all set together lovely don't worry if you break some of the potato slices there's no perfection here there's no measurement of ingredients it's all just as much as you've got or however many people you're cooking for um, go with the flow as they say So with those cooking away nicely, I've turned the heat right down a little bit. Well, down to pretty much just simmer. Because as I say, I want it to cook, but I don't want it to burn. And keep testing the edges, putting the edges back in like that. And letting the soft egg on the top go in to the bottom where it will cook. And there you have it all coming along lovely start to set now and look more like a tortilla so leave that to cook for about five ten minutes until the bottom bit is pretty much cooked And as you can see, it starts to take shape now, and the end product is going to be sort of like a cake. So as soon as you can feel it getting quite solid underneath, and sort of set, we need to turn this over so as we can cook top bit. And there is only one way you can do this. Unless anyone's got any ideas of any better ways, please feel free to leave a comment underneath. Um, I'm always open to new ideas, or if anyone's got any better ways of cooking tortilla, um, yeah, please leave a comment underneath. I'm always happy to see new comments. So without further ado, um, the next part is turning this over so as we can cook the bottom bit. The way you go about this is you get a plate, you put a plate on the top, turn it upside down and look at that, voila, and then simply, without doing too much, tip it back into So as you can see, look at that, fantastic colouring, um, cook just right that is, and again, you want it on low heat because you don't want to cook to colour, so keep it on a very low heat, leave that to cook away for about another 5-10 minutes. I'm actually going to put a lid on top of it because I want it to cook inside a little bit more. Um, I want the steam effect, I want to steam effect it so as it stays nice and moist. I also want to build up the heat inside without burning it from underneath um, just to help it cook in the middle. So there you have it ladies and gentlemen, the fantastic Spanish tortilla. Um, I'd like to think I've done the Spanish proud. If not, then leave a comment below and uh, don't kill me, I'm just the messenger. And so after about 20 minutes cooking, that is now ready to come out. Simply turn off the gas.
and onto a plate she goes. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my take on the Spanish tortilla. So this episode basically is about using up bits and pieces you have in your fridges or your cupboards, mainly because we're on lockdown for the coronavirus. Um, nothing you can do about it, it's just the way it is. But, you know, to save going out, uh, having to go out and go down the shops and buy things, just use up what you've got in the house. Loads of things there, use a bit of imagination, and uh, yeah, good luck. This is Chef Travels, I'm Kevin Hannington. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to subscribe or leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Thumbs up, really appreciated. And hopefully see you on the next mission.